Hey! So I literally haven't made a video on this channel for at least three years and I'm sorry about that. I definitely want to come back to YouTube now and make more videos because it's super fun and I love interacting with you guys. But basically I'm making this video here because I've gotten a lot of questions on my stop motion drawing video about how I made it and kind of what programs I used and what kind of stuff I did to make that video. So I was thinking that I'd make this video here to kind of show what I did, what my process was, and how I put it all together to make that video. And <laughs> a little disclaimer, I am by no means a stop motion expert or anything. I did have a lot of fun making that video and I learned a few things here and there, so I thought I would share just some tips and tricks that I picked up from making that video with you guys. Sorry in advance if I sound a bit stuffy, I am currently sick right now, but I'm also home for my spring break from college, so I kinda wanted to make this video now while I'm home. <laughs> this is what I get for living by an airport. Get airplanes like every five minutes, it's great. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> For this type of stop motion, you'll be needing a whiteboard as well as some dry erase markers for the drawing. Here is the camera I've been using for my stop motion. It's a Canon Rebel T2i, and you can really use any camera you want for your stop motion. I just recommend that it have a display so you can easily see your photos in real time. And for my stop motion, I'm using the no flash photography setting on my camera. I highly recommend using a tripod while making your stop motion so that the camera does not move around and all of your transitions are nice and smooth. I also like to use this extension part of my tripod while making my stop motion so that I can create a really sharp angle with the camera so that it's really centered on the whiteboard that's on the desk and it's pretty much just a really good aerial view of what's going on on the whiteboard. If you're using a DSLR camera like me, you're going to want to switch your display from the viewfinder to your screen so that you can easily see what's going on in the viewfinder right on the screen and you don't have to keep looking through the viewfinder while you're drawing and transitioning between pictures and drawing. Next, you're going to be zooming in your camera on the whiteboard so that it takes up the whole display and that's all that your camera will be capturing throughout your stop motion. Before starting any sequence, um, you first want to make sure that your camera is focused where you're going to be drawing. So I'm doing this by just having my camera focus on the marker on the whiteboard. Here I'm going to be making the effect of the marker cap coming off of the marker by itself and kind of going off on its own. To start off, I'm just going to take a picture of my hand with the marker just to serve as the starting point of the motion. And then I'm going to be taking off the cap in phases if that makes sense. So here I'm not taking it off all the way, but I'm just taking it off slightly so that as I take the pictures, it'll just look as if the cap is coming off by itself slowly. So you're going to want to make sure that you really take pictures step by step and make sure you capture each aspect of the movement that happens. So when you take off a marker cap, it doesn't just immediately come off. There is a moment where it's just slightly detached from the marker, but not completely. Here I'm just moving the cap slightly and taking a picture each time I move it so that when we put it in a video it'll have a very seamless movement across the whiteboard. Remember to keep your whiteboard and camera as still as possible throughout your picture taking to make sure that the transition between your photos is nice and smooth. Next, I'm going to show you how to capture yourself drawing something. So, of course, begin by just focusing the camera on your marker and on your hand on the whiteboard. 
this style is very easy to do. You basically just draw whatever you're drawing and take pictures very frequently. So what I did is I just kept my finger on the shutter and I had it held down halfway so that it remained focused. And then I would just press it down all the way to take a picture every few seconds. Now this way can take quite some time, so definitely just stay patient and remember to keep your whiteboard and camera as still as possible. And definitely just draw slowly so that you can take pictures at a good rate and really capture every detail that you draw. This style is really similar to the last, the only difference is that now the hand will not be present in the photos. Here you're just going to want to draw really small bits of your drawing and take a picture of each of the small bits that you draw. Lastly, I'm going to be showing you how to move your artwork. You're going to start out by drawing out the basic scene and the very first position that your character or object you're drawing is in. The idea of capturing every small little movement and every aspect of the movement prevails here, so you're going to want to draw out each small action or movement that your character or object does so that again you have a very smooth transition between photos and between movements so for example in the stop motion I'm making here I'm having my character walk across the setting so in every other picture he's going to have his leg up as if he were just walking along on the little road in this style, I also find that it helps to really watch your viewfinder and see where your character or object last was to make sure that you're getting the most continuity between movements and between shots. So I'll look at my display and I'll try and match up where the character is on my display to my whiteboard so that I know where to next place my character in the next shot. And of course, definitely make sure to keep your camera and whiteboard in the same position at all times. Additionally, don't stress about making your character or object exactly the same in each picture because obviously it will be a little bit different each time and the pictures go by so fast that no one will really be able to tell the very minor differences. So don't really worry about that too much. Finally, it's time for us to put our stop motion movie together on iMovie. Now, if you don't have a Mac or you don't have iMovie, you can do this same process on Movie Maker on a Microsoft computer. To begin, you're going to want to import all of your pictures onto your computer and find them in iMovie. Here, we're going to put together the little movie of this man walking. We're going to begin by just selecting all of our pictures here. And you will see that this is very simple. If I could just grab all the clips. And you're going to simply drag them into your new project here. And you can see here that they are all at four seconds, which is very long and wouldn't really give a nice and smooth progression between the images. So in order to fix that, we're going to go here and we're going to change the duration to 0 0.2.
and hit enter and now all of your pictures will only last for 0.2 seconds and it'll look something like this. So it is a very smooth transition between photos and they are very quick so the movie goes at a very good rate here. So it really is that simple no matter how many images you have. It's the same exact process for anything. Um, this is exactly what I did for my stop motion drawing movie except there I had 4,000 photos. So I just selected all the photos and changed the duration and my movie was there. So that is all there is to editing your movie in iMovie. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. I hope it helps, and I hope you guys get to go out and make your own stop motion drawing videos. I definitely recommend it. It's super fun and definitely really rewarding when you get to watch it later and, like, see all these pictures come together and it makes a story and you're like, nice. <laughs> I hope that helped at least. <laughs> Definitely feel free to subscribe if I helped or if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment your channels down below with your own stop motion so other people can come find them. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!